There is one company we've been talking about for a week that maybe needs a little capital, maybe right. needs a little credit, and it's Glencore. Obviously, the Metals and Mining Company has been on a roller coaster right. ride. Volatility in commodities is shaking this company to its core. You sit on the board of Glencore. This right. organization has been the one to watch, the smartest, the sharpest, the best. Did they get too close to the sun? No. Uh, they are the sharpest. And I know all of them. Uh, I've never Long term seen... capital are the sharpest, too. Well, maybe they were too sharp. Uh, well, there you go. <laughs> um, listen, they have real assets. Uh, they have a balance sheet that uh, had too much debt on it. We went out and raised a, a rights offering and brought in $2.5 billion. We've begun to cut back on some of our mines and, and shutter them. Uh, you've seen what's happened to the stock in the last few days, how much has come back from where it sold off. And then you have, you have fund managers who uh, short the stock, uh, play with the CDS, that's exactly what happened during the crisis. I mean, that's fine for them to do that. That creates a lot of volatility. But not real investing. Let me, it's not real investing, no. It's, let, it's me, let me offer a counterpoint here. I'm actually looking at uh, uh, Bank of America Merrill Lynch from uh, uh, Alistair Ryan. We estimate the global financial system's gross exposure to Glencore at over $100 billion and believe a significant majority is unsecured. The recent widening in debt spreads indicates the exposure is now coming into investor focus. They hadn't paid attention now. Now they're paying attention. Is right. that true? $100 billion mostly unsecured? I don't know the exact number. The, the real point is, are they paying attention? And the answer is absolutely yes. Uh, what they've done in uh, cutting back on some of their mines and closing them. Mm -hmm. But the other thing you've got to think about is, uh, the, the real reason this has got so much focus is the commodity market has sold off dramatically. China is not the big buyer of copper as it was. And the other thing is, and, and this is changing for the industry, not just for Glencore, it looks like to me when, when you own a mine, you feel like the number one thing you need to do is just produce. Yeah. Well, sometimes you've got to cut that back, whether it's oil, copper, or, or whatever it may be.